The men's mile run is next. Steve Scott's record now has held up for 15 years. And there's a man in the middle of the track, Craig, who may be one of the big stars of 1996 in the world. Well, he's already a big star in the indoor scene. Julius Aitchen from George Mason University. Fastest time in the world of the mile so far this year, 357.7. Recorded that time in winning the Mobile Invitational at George Mason earlier this season. There you see the Michael Power, just a freshman from Australia who ran 358 as a prep down there. All of these qualifiers went between 403.78 that that man ran, Julius H. And the slowest qualifier was Ibrahim Aden in the field at 404.95 seconds. I'm not quite sure what the strategy is that these other guys should use to try to beat H. And as he's run a 145 800 meters last season outdoors made it to the semifinals of the world championships in the 1500 meters and you can see he certainly doesn't need to sprint off the start line at least from his point of view as he runs right to the back there you see him number 141 ran a rather interesting style in the qualifying round i think he was in every different place at one time or another back and forth he went but he has great confidence in what is a very impressive finishing kick I think many, we should mention here, many of these teams, such as Arkansas that's in the field and George Mason and so forth, have another race to run. The distance medley relay may see many of these competitors, so it may turn into a tactical race. That's the wish of, obviously, many of them. And I think a person who wants to run as slowly, certainly in the first half of the race as possible, is number 141 there, who's next to last in green, Julius Aitchen from Uganda. But you know what, if I were one of the other guys in this race, as we see Aitchen now moving up towards the midpoint of the field, if I were one of the other guys, I'd push the pace. Exactly. If I didn't have to run a relay, I'd say, hey, let's make these guys who are worrying about their second race later tonight worry about that. But uh, so far, that doesn't seem to be the case as they come through the quarter mile in about 62, 63 seconds. So this is turning into a tactical race. Let's help set the field here for you right now. Nebraska out in the lead. Pulling along, that's Jonah Kiptaris. The tiny countenance he, uh, after junior college uh, for a couple of years, came to the Nebraska program at the beginning of this semester. Michael Power, the freshman from Arkansas, is in second place. Colorado State represented David Sobelik is in third. And in fourth, number 20, 122, that is Donald Johnson. Let's go down now to Lewis Johnson. Michael, tell me what it's like to hit that third attempt at 7-5 that, that finally uh, sealed the championship. Well, when I planted, the moment I planted, I knew I was over. That was it. I, once I was over the bar, I laid out and that was it. Now, you had a couple of very good looks at 7-6. Talk about what happened there and how you think you can hit that in the future. Well, me and my coach was talking about it over there just a minute ago. Uh, what I need to do is keep my heel up and tight and drive my knee up. I was over the bar on all three attempts. Just need to keep my heel up. I think there'll be a little cheering at McNeese State uh, this weekend, huh? Yes, sir. All right, congratulations to you. Thank you. We got ourselves a race, Craig. And we certainly do, as we see H and as predicted, all over the place as he moves up now into the lead, or fighting for the lead, only 205 at the half mile. Kiptar is doing a good job of holding him off there. Kiptar is the Kenyan Big 8 champion for Nebraska. Great. Do you think this is a tactic here? In other words, he's just running side by side, making it difficult for anybody to sprint here so that he can run as slowly and in, in as much control as possible. I'm talking about Aitchen on the outside. No, I think Aitchen wants to take the lead, but every time he tries to get by, Kiptar just runs fast enough to hold him off, which is much easier indoors where you have so much turn and so little straightaway. But now, with a quarter mile to go, it's the kickers that will come to the four. Power, who we see in third, is an excellent kicker, although he hasn't run as many races as Aitchen has this season. Ooh, look at that. Somebody's and down. Just as I down. say that, that's Ibrahim Aden that is down. And it may have been Power that went down as well. Yes, it was. It was. Andy down and trying to slide and up on the inside. Look at that. Wow, somebody almost went off the track there. Down and does, does get by on the inside. Coming up with one lap to go, it is it is Aitchen in the lead, down and in second place. Kiptaris is in third from Nebraska. Corey Immels on the inside with the yellow top is in fourth. And it looks to be all the speed and majesty of Julius Aitchen, 19 years of age, from George Mason University. 
The Douglas pushing continues in the back, Larry. That's what happens when you have a slow pace. And that is Ajama, Ajama Bile in third place in blue trying to move up. It's going to be easily H in first, Kiptaris in second, Iden in third, as they will score the big points, 10, 8, and 6 points, respectively, for their schools. But when you think about the team race, George Mason would have hoped for points from Ibrahim Aden, who went down in this fall. And you see, they were all crowded, even as the pace was starting to pick up. So many guys in there. Someone steps on the back of Power's foot. He goes down. And then you see other guys go down right over him. There, there it is. Ibrahim Aden went down. Right. And Donnell Johnson from Florida down. And you know what? That's big problems for Arkansas's team hopes also. Maybe George Mason didn't get as many points as they would have liked. But obviously, no points for Arkansas as it was that big move by Aachen that brought him first up towards the front and then eventually into the lead. Four minutes, two, and 83 one-hundredths of a second for Julius Aachen's victory. Lewis, what has he got to say? Julius, a tactical race, I'm sure you expected it. Tell us uh, why you choose to run from the back and then sprint to the front. Obviously, your speed. Oh, yeah. I trust my speed, you know, because, like, at the beginning, I was strong. So when I struggle, I waste a lot of energy. So you scored a very valuable 10, uh, 10 points for your team. You must be happy about that. Yeah, I'm very happy. I'm very happy. Because champion of always, you need to win, not time. You know? All right, congratulations to you. Back to Larry. Thanks a lot. Now you see the best results, Craig. Julius Aitchin, who started running at age 15, broke his father's national record in Uganda earlier this season. He's someone, as you say, to watch the rest of this Olympic year. His, his life is just beginning as a runner. We had a major controversy occur. It didn't change the outcome of everything, but this was the men's mile, and Michael Power went down from Arkansas, and Ibrahim Aden went down as well. Three athletes fell, two got up and finished the race. Ibrahim Aden did not. He walked off the track. The NCAA Rules Committee looked at this and said he didn't give an honest effort, that he was saving himself for later on for the distance medley relay. And after he ran the distance medley re relay, they said that the points could not count. So six points were subtracted from George Mason's total.